Okay, so just got my Galaxy S10 in the mail. So this is Prism Blue. I think it's uh, 128 GB. Uh, it doesn't say that, does it? Yeah. Ah, it says right on the back. 128 GB contains the contains the phone, the wall, USB charger, stereo headphone, USB connector, quick start guide, smart switch guide, Samsung mobile care offer. Mm -hmm. Grand unboxing. Of my new Samsung S10. Assignment? Nah, that's not much. Not too much of an assignment. Okay. So what's this? Come on, come on, come on. So that's the SIM pin. The SIM tool. Instructions, I would guess. Quick start guide. Same old, same old. Okay, so that's the only thing I will be needing in the future. Keep that. There's the actual phone. We get back to that. Okay, get back to that. USB wall charger A USB C adapter to USB so that's connecting to the older styles this Mm -hmm. hmm. Ah, earphone. I would think. Oh, no, it's not earphone. What's this? Ah, Type C USB wire charge. Charging wire. Okay. Yeah, there you go. That's the earphone. AKG earphone. Hmm. Let me see. So, ha, uh, stereo jack. Stereo jack. What does that mean? Oh, oh, cool. I still still have the uh, stereo. Uh, Jack, right on the phone. Alright, so anything else from the packaging? That's it. Alright. So let's go through the phone. Power button. SIM tray. Volume button, and I would guess that's still the Bixby. So, stereo jack, US Type C USB, microphone, and speaker. Okay, the back. One, two, three. Uh, cameras, flash, and some sensors. Front camera. Okay, so this is Prism Brew. How uh, does Prism Brew look like? Hmm. 
Hmm. Looks okay. Yeah, I'm upgrading for a uh, Mate 20 Pro, so there's not much of an excitement level. I was thinking of getting a P30 Pro, but uh, unfortunately I couldn't get it from the retail like, upfront purchase. They won't let me do that, so I go here, go on Samsung, and I buy a Samsung S10, and no contract, no new plans. I like my existing plan, so I keep it. Hopefully this is going to work out good. This video is recorded using Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Yeah, it's a uh, nighting horrible. The room's very dark. Alrighty. Let's get a charge and let's see what happens with it. Made in Vietnam. Ooh. Okay, so it's been 24 hours since I got uh, I got my Galaxy S10. So I noticed something right away. So the face recognition is very nice, but the screen, uh, the fingerprint sensor, is, it's not, it's t almost useless. Same as Huawei. No, it doesn't always work. If your finger's a little bit dirty, that's pretty much doesn't work at all. So that's one thing. And the next thing is the uh, the screen. The phone come with a screen protector already. Yeah, I didn't realize it until I uh, went to charge it, and uh, I realized oh, the screen protector that's already applied. I don't know if that's a film or glass. I can't really tell the difference. It's factory installed, so it's totally bubble free. It's really, really nice. But you know, with a screen protector, that's you know, that's a bonus. You know, I didn't have to. Uh, I ordered a screen protector already, but I didn't have to apply it because it's already on. So that's good. Uh, and then uh, next thing I noticed is the uh, the screen capture is a power button and the volume down. So it's and then you just squeeze in. That's pretty nice. Uh, with a uh, Huawei uh, Mate 20 Pro, the uh, power button uh, and the volume down is on the same side, so it's a little bit awkward uh, to press both at the same time on the uh, same place. So this is more convenient. I found that that's a good feature. But, uh, I found really, really bad defect with the uh, Galaxy S10 already. Charging speed is horrible. Well, oh, yeah, compared to uh, Mate 20 Pro, it's horrible. Yeah, I use Mate 20 Pro for a few months, so uh, for me, that's a downgrade. Uh, to fully charge it, now from 0 to 100, took almost like 2 hours, almost. You know, give or take, maybe less than two hours, but you know, took a long time. Huawei uh, Mate 20 Pro, uh, 30 minutes, you get almost all of it. You give it like 40, 45 minutes and you probably got all of it. It's quick. Uh, it's, it has bigger battery. Uh, uh, speaking of the battery, the uh, Galaxy S10, uh, I have the screen dimmed a little bit. Well, a whole nut, actually. See them right there. So, what's going on is uh, with that screen dim like that, and then throughout the day, uh, roughly nine hour day, the battery dropped down to, right now it's like 37% or something like that. 30, yeah, there you go. 37%. So it's not heavy use at all. It's just a regular uh, email check, time check, uh, you know, take a picture here and there. And then during break time, you just browse through the phone for quick browsing. Not even a phone call yet. 
and no texting today either just you know do regular checks here and there uh, but I was using it a little bit for uh, do like phone setups because my first day so you know maybe that's pretty much same as uh, making phone calls doing text uh, whatever uh, no games no heavy video playing you know, watching lots of videos you know playing video games but you know, nine hours and you drop it down to 37 with Huawei uh, after like 10 hours I might still have like 60% or something like that so yeah battery wise S10 uh, it's not gonna last right now that's a huge disappointment